Hey everyone, my name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel. We're ready to live sober one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to smash that like button. I'd appreciate that too. Before I get started into the video, can you guys share with me where you're from in this big, beautiful world of ours and how much sobriety you have and you know, just how's your week going? How are you doing with one day at a time in recovery? If you can leave it in the comments below, I'd really appreciate that too. What I want to talk about today, I want to talk about these culprits. Partake, not, not necessarily partake, but non-alcohol beer. Non-alcohol beverages, but today I'm just going to pick on beer. because, And when it comes to these, when it comes to near beer, my opinion of them, my opinion of non-alcohol beverages that look, smell, feel, taste, and even behave exactly like the real thing, my opinion of it, I would stay away from. It's a total mind fuck. It's a mind screw to everybody. And the reason I'm telling you this is simple, easy. If alcoholism or alcohol use disorder was just one fold, like it was just a physical illness, I'd say maybe there's a chance you could drink a near beer or a non-alcohol beverage and get away with it. I would probably maybe sort of say that, but it's not. Alcoholism or alcohol use disorder is threefold. It's emotional, it's mental, and it's physical. And let me just tell you, if you drink this and there's no alcohol in it, your subconscious doesn't know the really the difference of it. And you're playing head games with yourself. You're drinking, pretending you're drinking, you're at the party, pretending you have a beer, yeah, I'm cool, I'm cool. You know, that's what you're doing. You're just doing a mind screw to yourself. And I've seen people do it. I don't have any long-term proof that near beers and non-alcohol beverages drove people out, back out to relapse, but I know it didn't help them. I know it didn't help them. You know, trying to fit in was one of my biggest problems in my alcoholism, in my active alcoholism. And going to a party and sitting there in the corner like, I still got a beer in my hand. What exactly am I doing? I'm bullshitting myself, I'm lying to myself. I really am. It's like people who vape, you know, they're vaping and they're calling themselves non-smokers. Are they really non-smokers? Are they vapors or just a different way to smoke? It's the same thing, they're still smokers. It's the same thing when you take a non-alcohol beverage or a near beer. You're still a drinker, you're still drinking. You may not think that, but you are. And I pretty well guarantee it, guarantee it, that you will end up drinking the real stuff sooner or later, sooner or later. My opinion, stay clear of it. Non-alcohol beer, non-alcohol wine, whatever it is, if it looks like wine, if it functions like wine or beer and it looks like it, you're just doing a mind screw to yourself. You're telling yourself that you're still drinking self-consciously, believe it or not. You're still living that, that life of fitting in. I'm not an alcoholic. I can drink near beer. I can drink non-alcohol beer. I can behave like I'm drinking, but I'm really not drinking. What a mind screw. What a mind screw. So don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Have a Coke, have a bottle of water. Alcoholism is cutting, baffling, and powerful. This is cunning. This will trick you. Non-alcohol beer or non-alcohol beverages will trick you into drinking once again. So, you know, I even heard on the Facebook group, I was kicked off it. The guy said he drank non-alcohol booze and it helped him not to relapse. Well, I think he was already in relapse mode even when he was drinking these things. Because eventually you're going to want the real McCoy. It's like hanging out in a barber shop and eventually you're going to get a haircut. Eventually that's going to happen. Like it or not, that's what's going to happen. You hang around a pool, eventually you're going to go swimming. Same with this stuff, okay? I don't want to go on and on about it, but don't do the mind screw to yourself. If you're drinking non-alcohol beverages, you're still pretending that you are able to drink. It's like when you smoke cigarettes and you start vaping, you are still, you are still a smoker, in my opinion. So stay away from them, okay? This is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second. Can you please subscribe to my channel? Can you take another second? Hit that like button and leave a comment. Ciao for now. 
I'll see you next week. I hope everything's going well for you. And remember, we're in this together. Together, we can get sober. Together, we can cope one day at a time without alcohol, okay? Thanks for stopping by. Ciao for now.